Hey, Jonathan here. Uh, I've got a question from, I think it says Fern Studio, and it goes like this. Uh, Thanks for shedding some light on the three option proposals. I'm running a small agency, three people, doing marketing and brand consulting in Zurich, Switzerland. Our main client focus is in the areas of research, architecture, and software. I've been value pricing for the last year or trying to, and at the moment, I'm kind of stuck with how much third-party proposals I can slash should include in my proposal. Uh, For example, printing costs, media budget, digital ads, and so on. Clients really like seeing just one price up front and are also glad to have to only deal with one person, me, for doing all of their marketing. Can and should I include everything, also media spend, in my three option proposal? It will still only be a rough estimate, but I would like the client to know that everything is included. Been doing this for two years now, maybe I just need more references experience to how much media spend is usual for certain kinds of results. Uh, Okay, so this is a little tricky, but uh, I can simplify it. So you have indicated in your question that you don't uh, evidently don't mind the idea of including everything soup to nuts turnkey solution in your proposals. And you've indicated that your clients like it. So what I would do is one thing you could do anyway, is to have that sort of completely done for you concierge experience be your option three. So let's say your option one is, I'm just going to use low numbers, small numbers. uh, So it's easy to do the math. But let's say your option one is like a thousand dollars. And the that option includes no buying, no content production, anything. It's a DIY type of thing, where you meet with them, you do discovery, you come up with a plan, you give them a roadmap, that you hand off to them and then they execute on their own. Perhaps it involves putting them in touch with individual freelancers or vendors that can produce these materials, but it's completely a completely hands-off thing where you just give them a plan, like a blueprint, and they run with it. And maybe that's $1,000. Then you would have an option two where you take more responsibility for delivering some kind of outcome. So perhaps you would take on... um, Maybe they have an internal marketing coordinator who's kind of junior and you would say, okay, we'll deliver the blueprint for your marketing plan. Uh, We'll tell you exactly what to do. We will mentor your internal person who will do the creative execution and we'll stay involved in like an art director, creative director type of way. Maybe you help with messaging along the way, but you're not producing the materials. You're uh, either mentoring their internal marketing coordinator or you put them in touch with some freelancers who they hire directly and you don't manage them you just oversee the work like a an art director or a creative director would do so you're you it's more of a collaborative exercise than the first one because you're staying involved and you could um, cap it out at some period of time so if option one is a thousand dollars and option two you want to price it at twenty two hundred dollars you know, maybe it's uh, a month of, you know, a little bit of mentoring here and there. And the price probably doesn't work. You probably have to change your prices. But, uh, you know, maybe option one for the the blueprint is more like $10,000 and option two is $22,000. I have no idea what your prices, uh, what your costs are. Um, But you could, you know, you could price it wherever is comfortable for you, wherever makes sense for the client um, and just adjust the numbers appropriately. But the idea is option one is just a blueprint. Option two is the blueprint plus some direction along the way where you're giving them some oversight as someone else executes the creative. And then option three, which is what you're asking about, could be the complete soup to nuts. You you would deal with everything uh, to the extent that you can. You'd have to be some client meetings, approvals maybe, but you just take care of it. And that would be very expensive. Call that $50,000, five times more or maybe even 10 times more the option one price. And you just time box it. So, you know, for whatever makes sense for a campaign length, let's say it's a a three month campaign or a six month campaign, you could say for $100,000, we will deal with everything for six months. You can expect these outcomes and we are gonna take care of absolutely everything. We're gonna pay for the ad spend. We're gonna do all the creative ourselves. If we have to outsource anything, we'll do it, video production. Uh, illustration, artwork, whatever, you just, you write us a check for $100,000 and we'll deal with everything and you, they'll get some outcome. So this is, they don't, they don't want someone to place ads. They don't want someone to come up with 
copywriting and messaging and branding materials and artifacts. They don't want all that stuff. They want some business outcome. So if they're prepared to give you a hundred grand or whatever the number is, and you can just take that as a budget to deliver whatever they want, which maybe is more brand awareness measured in some way that you could actually measure, or maybe it's more sales, or maybe it's more leads or more demos of their software. Whatever needle they're, they're trying to move in that option three, if it's worth a hundred grand to them and they just give you that money like a budget and you can just do whatever you want with it. You can do pay-per-click ads if you think that makes sense or you can not do pay-per-click ads and how much money you're spending on, uh, you know, uh, uh, media spend, how much money you're spending on media is up to you. It's just eating into your profit. They don't even have to worry about it. So, I, you know, these numbers might not make sense for your situation, but just adjust them in a way that it does make sense. So, like, I don't care how much, you know, like, I don't care how much media spend they think they want. What you're trying to do is deliver an outcome. And there's some price that, where it makes sense for you to just absorb that because you're good at it. You know how to uh, optimize your spend. You know the maybe the lifetime value of the customer or what customer acquisition cost makes sense. You can calculate that. They're not concerned with that. So you can just figure it out and spend as little as possible to get the result that they want. Just make sure that you're focusing on the results in your proposal and not the deliverables and the activities that you're going to undertake and the expenses that you're going to incur. Don't worry about that with your option three and just really have a uh, probably the highest price you've ever written because you know you need to deliver those results and it becomes risky for you instead of risky for the client. Option one and to a certain extent option two are much more risky for the client. Option three is not risky for the client. It's very risky for you. So you set that price super high to give you a lot of latitude to deliver the results that you want to deliver that the client wants to receive within a budget that gives you room to move. Uh, okay, hopefully that helped. I'm Jonathan Stark. If you have a question for me, you can hashtag Ask Jonathan on LinkedIn, Twitter, or YouTube, and we will find it and add it to the queue, and I'll answer as soon as I can. Thanks.